Next Wave DB's coverage of NAB 2011 is made possible by LCD Viewfinder, the essential accessory for DSLR video, CPM Film Tools, your lightweight solution for caging the beast, Manhattan LCD, the affordable solution for high definition monitoring, BNH, the professional source for photo, video, and pro audio. Hey, this is Sean with Next Wave DV, and we're here at the Unreal booth, and I've got Curtis with us, going to highlight the product that they have coming out. Hello. Is How are you doing? Good. Uh, what we have here is a virtual set, a uh, complete virtual set solution. So uh, as Unreal, we pull together all the different component technologies and deliver a complete solution for our customers' needs. So you've got three major components to the uh, virtual set operation. You've got the tracking, and we're showing a number of different kinds of tracking here I can talk to you about. You've got the keying, we're in the Ultimat booth here and we're using Ultimat's keying technology. And you've got the rendering and we're using the uh, Brainstorm multimedia rendering engine uh, also here at the NAB over that way. So how was the uh, live tracking achieved? So we've got a couple of different technologies on the tracking side here. We've got four cameras, you've got a jib, uh, we've got a pedestal, and we've got a robotic head over here. All of those are fitted with encoding systems that uh, encode and send to the rendering engine every detail of the movement of the camera, including the focus of the lens, so that we can pinpoint exactly where that focal point of the camera is. Uh, and that allows us to keep the virtual world directly in sync with the real world. Uh, but the other technology that we have, you see this handheld camera down here on the floor. It's got a tree on top of it uh, with reflective balls uh, on top. Those are picked up by this array of scanning cameras in the grid up above. Uh, that's uh, motion analysis technology, and that is a, uh, a method of tracking uh, a camera, or you can actually track any device you want in the virtual set, but we use it to track a handheld camera in the virtual set. Same result, it feeds the information back to the uh, rendering engine so that it can be part of the virtual set, and she can be fixed on a very solid, uh, you know, virtual scene. And you can see on the screens, we've got her in two different scenes at the same time. What kind of integration do you have with the uh, type of 3D scenes? You can use, like, uh, you're able to do it from 3DS Max, from Maya, any other type? Yeah, we, we work with our partner companies to actually develop the virtual sets. Oliver here is with uh, Cause and Effects. They're around the corner there, and they've actually developed this set up there on the left side that we used at the Tennis Channel US Open. So Cause and Effects is a, is a company we've worked with to create virtual scenes. He uses Maya in that case. We've worked with another engineer who uh, built the scene on the right here. I believe that was done in 3D Studio Max. Another third party independent company uh, called uh, Full Mental Jacket. So we work with partner companies to develop the actual virtual sets and then we integrate them into the rendering engine environment. Okay. Alright, well thank you very much Curtis. Appreciate the overview. Okay. Thank you. Subscribe to us on YouTube and visit nextwavedv.com for more news and training for video and filmmakers.